everyone feels alone at some point in their lives or lots of times. I think what's really helped me is just knowing that even when we're not there like physically or anything like that, like we're always there for each other. I know I can always rely on them. And more than anything, like I'm never actually alone because I always have God too. And so I think that he's just like really our rock and we're just like the little rocks around him too to just build each other up and be that help because there are days that you do feel alone or you just it's hard but it's really nice to have not only God but people that can help you yeah as cliche as it sounds it really is something where it's like the little things like the sun just on your face and you're like that's God right there helping me (laughs) and actually I don't know if this happens to you guys but like when we are apart I feel like you guys are still with me because I just I constantly look back to old memories and I just start cracking up out of nowhere. I'm like, oh, like, I think we're just always together. Mm -hmm. And so you just like always reflect back to something funny or weird we did like the day before. I remember when Sully went on her mission, it was so hard for me. I had Desi and we're all best friends, but I had to fall asleep every single night to our come mouth out. If you could hide a cold, I was like, that's weird that I listen to ourselves, (laughs) but not to listen to myself. It was for them. And I just felt like connected to them again. So that was yeah. nice. Mm-hmm. I think it's hard being alone. Like going back to that concept is we really like we rely so much on each other and we love each other, but we did have to go through a period of time learning to rely on ourselves, just by ourselves, like us and God. But I think sometimes when you're not used to that relationship, just you and God, you don't know what to do. You don't know that he's there. You don't know how to recognize him. And so um, those service missions we did helped a lot, but also just going different paths in our lives, different colleges, different schools, being married. We're going to keep finding moments where we're going to be alone and not together. And I think that the cool thing is even though we've all experienced who we want to be when we're alone, we come together and it's in harmony. And we find that we complement each other with the people that we want to become. We don't just want to be this group forever. We are three independent people that just want to grow closer to God and find our purpose that he has for us. While we were alone, I remember that I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to write a song because I had tried (laughs) so hard like my whole life and it just was never coming. And I remember I just like knelt down and I was just like, I remember that scripture that says, if he asks, like believing you can receive, you will. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to have a lot of faith right now. And I was like, (laughs) Heavenly Father, please, like, I just really want to write a song that can help people through like these times. And it came to my mind, like one of my favorite chapters in the scriptures, 2 Nephi 4. And I just read through that and I was like, man, like I'm not the best with words, but these words are great. So I was like, let's use these. And I just... I don't know how, but I came up with a song in like an hour and I was like, I guess that's when you know it was not me because I would have (laughs) never done it on my own. But I wrote a song and it's called Awake My Soul and my sisters helped me sing it so we can sing that for you guys. Great. Yeah. Him on my knees, 
I give my life to him, yes, every broken piece Take and mold my heart Awake my soul No longer droop in sin, he'll make me whole The rock of my salvation, rejoice i